Good morning, South Carolina Future Business Leaders of America. My name is Savannah Padgett, and I am the president of North Augusta High School chapter of FBLA. Good morning, my name is Leland Swanson. Good morning, my name is Katie Beth Cannon, and I'm the vice president of the North Augusta High School FBLA chapter. Today, we are going to present our local chapter annual business report. Our report starts off with the state of the chapter remarks, a letter that I wrote to the members of our chapter. In the letter, I express my thanks to our members for their hard work and leave them with an inspirational quote about leadership. This year, the chapter consists of 30 students, although we are working toward the goal of 50 by the end of the year. We also have two professional members, Mr. Murphy and Mr. Harris. As for our leadership council, we have the officers listed on screen. One of the foundations of the North Augusta High School FBLA program is the North Augusta community that we live in. The city of North Augusta was established in 1891 and currently has a population of 23,845 people. Some of the main centers of our community include the Brickbond Park, SRP Baseball Park, Snowcap Driving, and Pink Dipper. At North Augusta High School, we now have a new state-of-the-art educational complex. There are also currently 1,500 students in attendance at North Augusta. Something the North Augusta FBLA prides itself on is our program of work, specifically how it coordinates with South Carolina State FBLA standards. Our three main goals include participation in community service projects, preparation of members for business careers, and promotion of the Business Achievement Awards. We work to achieve these goals through our FBLA Instagram, Remind System, and Yellow Jackets News Show. We also have guest speakers that help to educate members of the chapter and require that one level of BAA be completed each year in order for members to participate in competition. To ensure the North Augusta FBLA chapter has the best possible leadership council doing their best work, we hold the leadership development class. In order to join the class, you must first run for the local leadership council. Part of this process includes self-reflection as well as community service. The Yellow Jacket News Show functions as an introduction to broadcast journalism and allows those involved to be trained in wirecast production software, anchoring, prompting, and editing. The Buzz, the North East High School newspaper, functions as an introduction to written and photo journal. Our business partnerships include working with Golden Harvest Food Bank as a part of the Spooky to be Hungry campaign, as well as working with Men's Warehouse to provide coupons to FBLA members who are buying business attire. Another business partnership is virtual business tours, which have been, which have been offered to FBLA members in order to provide business education. Chapter fundraising projects include fast food lunch options, community sponsors, membership dues, and the Aiken County Career Center. Membership dues also help us to pay for the national registration of each member of our chapter. As for communication with North Augusta High School students, we have the FBLA Bulletin Board. This is a board in our advisor's room that displays member achievements and includes the BAA login information. The North Coast High School FBLA created an Instagram account at the beginning of 2020 school year in order to update members about information. The information is also related to members who are signed up for the FBLA remote. The Countdown to Competition campaign is one of the biggest competition related communication projects that the North Augusta High School chapter of FBLA has ever done. Organized by the local leadership council, it has helped to share tips and tricks regarding state competition. Recruitment activities of our FBLA chapter include chapter meetings, freshman orientation, and website design. At our chapter meetings, we have important information so that prospective members may know what FBLA is like. During the North Augusta High School freshman orientation, we have, we have an information booth with FBLA applications. Finally, we also have website design elements that help to recruit members. Furthermore, in order to start gaining prospective FBLA members at an earlier stage, we are working with middle school administrators to start a local middle school level chapter. The emblem ceremony for the North Coast High School FBLA was held on November 19th of 2020. It was held in order to show the members of the North Coast High School FBLA chapter our goals and purposes. One of these goals is the encouragement of the BAA program. We require all competing FBLA members to complete one level of BAA each year. This year, we are on track to submit 35 levels of BAA. Due to social distancing measures, we invited South Carolina District 2 Vice President Parth Patel to record a video for one of our meetings. Parth's video focused on the BAA program and bringing in a guest speaker encouraged our students to learn from FBLA members outside of our chapter. One of our FBLA members, Melissa Murr, 
is a member of the Membership Action Council, in which she works to promote the benefits of joining FBLA. In terms of the March of Dimes project, our Leadership Council worked to secure a chapter donation of the March of Dimes Foundation. Finally, we have FBLA Week and National Kate Week. The themes listed on the screen are some of the examples of what the North Augusta High School FBLA will be participating in during these days. Some of our most important projects include the Shepherd Blood Drive, Project Flow, and the Christmas Literacy Project. Both the Shepherd Blood Drive and the Christmas Literacy Project are FBLA service events to help those in the immediate North Augusta community. Project Flow is also working to do the same by ending period poverty in the area. The North Augusta High School FBLA gives out a business scholarship each year, which recognizes the FBLA member that is the most dedicated to community service. Competitions are a large part of any FBLA program, but the North Augusta FBLA takes pride in our competitions. After earning the placement shown on screen at state competition last year, even amongst the beginnings of a global pandemic, we cannot wait to compete again at this year's state competition. We also had 33 members register for competition, many of whom were not able to compete because of COVID-19 regulations. We are also grateful for the hard work of the North Augusta High School FBLA students this year as we navigate these strange times. And finally, we want to thank you for your time today. We wish you good health and safety as we continue to suit up FBLA members because the future awaits. Thank you.